The Wells Fargo Community Celebration is really an alliance partnership between Wells Fargo, the Arts and Science Council, and Charlotte Center City Partners. The fact that we can have a day like this and have over 80 different events going on at one time, reflecting the rich cultural diversity of, of what we offer here, and people turn out for these events, it's a pretty phenomenal statement about the health of arts, history, and culture in our region. We kicked off the day with the opening of the Wells Fargo History Museum, but that really is just the launch of opening up our cultural mile here and all of the organizations that are affiliates and cultural partners working with the Arts and Science Council and giving free access to our public. People sometimes forget what's close to home. This kind of an event gives us the opportunity to celebrate all of the things that this community has built over decades. So many don't have the resources to access all of these incredible museums and performance venues that are theirs. A typical family would have to pay anywhere from $50 to $100 to visit just two venues uptown. These are organizations and great museums and uh, performing arts groups. Some people may not have ever taken the opportunity to come and visit to see and experience. And the fact that it's totally free gives them a good reason to do it. We went to different storytellers, watched a puppet show, uh, played frisbee, played foosball for a while, and my dad was in a musical chairs contest. Yeah. It was fun. Every single venue that is open free to the public today, so for example, Discovery Place or the Mint Museum or the Gantt Center, all have focused education and learning events today that are typically geared a little more towards children but are also family oriented so that the parent or guardian or adult can join in and have fun as well. For the McCall Center's Community Day, I'm doing an activity with folks who come in. You can remember your address from uh, your childhood home. You write that on a postcard and write a short note to whoever lives there now. And then we're doing um, tissue paper collage to decorate the front of the postcard. It's been interesting to hear people's you know, stories and talk about where everybody grew up. There are so many different ways that people interact with arts and culture, and they're not just passive. The Bettler had kids sign out uh, sketch pads, and they were sketching the Firebird. A big sculpture that's on one of the walls in the atrium is called Mega Footprint. We thought, shoot, let's make many footprints. So kids and parents are being invited to trace their foot or their shoe. They cut it out. It's a foam and one side is sticky so they pull that sticky side off and then they're making in essence a yarn painting on their foot and then there's a whole display space underneath the big sculpture where they're laying out their footprints. It's a way for them to connect with a piece of sculpture, a piece of artwork here, a living artist and they're having a great time. They're seeing the museum and uh, enjoying what creative spark they have in and of themselves. diversity was a key focus of the day. We just really wanted to make sure that we were showcasing the very rich, diverse, and varied art scripts we have in the community.
originally from Lake City, South Carolina, and that's exactly where I get my inspiration from. I come from a family of 15, so the works that you see behind me is reflective of all the different things that I used to do and my family used to do on the farm. It's very colorful art. It tells a story. It's a story of spiritual people who are very closely connected together. I love coming out to different events such as this because it gives us the opportunity to meet and connect with people in the community and also with other artists as well. From February all the way up to the day of, we were working on this. Um, so it was a full nine month process uh, to get this up and running. It's really a collaborative effort. The Arts and Science Council and all of their partner organizations have really just stepped up to the table to present their offerings to the community. The Arts and Science Council has meant so much to so many of us that uh, are still starving artists in a way, but we're making it because we have someone that believes in us and trusts us to be good stewards over the things that they give us. What they're doing for all the organizations in this community means so much to those of us that love the arts, that are willing to work for the arts, that are willing to share our talents, whether it's a lot of money or a little money. This is a great art city, uh, and it's a great place to come and experience, but it's also a great place to come and be an artist, and we want that to continue. Charlotte's a great place for the arts. <laughs>